Okay, g'day, we're here at the uh, lovely Blue Mountains at our uh, certified passive house which is also being built to flame zone. Uh, it's a beautiful day, uh, it's about 13.6 degrees outside at the moment and uh, we'll take you for a walk through the house. So we've put uh, shutters on the um, windows and there um, for the flame zone part of the build but we've also using them as our shading devices um, for the summer sun. So externally as you can see we're pretty close to the National Butcher um, and this is the, uh, the backyard um, over there in the distance is our wastewater um, disposal system um, which irrigates up over that area there. So we might uh, take a walk internally. Okay, so uh, Welcome uh, in, inside the house. Uh, it's a lot warmer inside the house here than it is outside. Um, current temperature sitting at 19 degrees. And um, here we are in the main living area and kitchen. Um, we've got fans in because uh, I like fans and it does give us a little bit more thermal comfort um, without using the air conditioner. Um, that's the air conditioning system uh, that we have installed in the house which uh, heats and cools on uh, peak periods um, that does the whole entire house um, you can see some of the vents up in the ceiling there's four in this room and one up on the wall over there um, therefore our HRV uh, which supplies fresh uh, air 24-7 uh, and also exhaust air 24-7. Right. We walk through. We have the media room. Uh, in this house we feature a lot of a lot of windows and glass. Um, this house can be totally this room can be totally well all the whole house can be totally locked down um, with our fire shutters. So we can either remotely control these or through our or manually control them in each room. So these will, um, as you can see, um, this room will go into almost total darkness. Uh, with our fire, with our with fire shutters, which we use for shading. As you can see, it's almost in uh, total lockdown now, and uh, so this room is now. Uh, also dark and in total lockdown for our bushfire. Uh, put the shutters back up again and we'll keep walking through the house. Bedroom number four. Plenty of um, space room and light in this, in this room, like most of the rooms in the house. Bedroom number three, the laundry with an outside door and a little courtyard for drying which faces north. Okay, we've got the uh, powder room and also the main bathroom which serves as the three other bedrooms. As you can see in the top ceiling, top corner in the ceiling uh, is also the uh, exhaust for the, through the HRV ventilation system and one also in the powder room. Bedroom number two. So most of the uh, rooms have got a, quite a
for a pleasant view. And then now into the master bedroom. Which uh, it also is at 19 degrees in this room as well. Uh, so I have room big enough for a king size bed. And our ensuite, very similar to the main bathroom. Uh, kept it nice, simple, tasteful features. And the walk in row. So as you can see, again, lovely view into the bushland of the uh, Blue Mountains. Um, as you can see, we've used a new front tilt and turn window. Uh, if you do wish to open a window, you can. Or if you wish to leave them open, you can leave them open in that position. Uh, beautiful window, very secure and very airtight. Um, with our airtightness in this house, um, we achieved 0.39 air changes an hour. The uh, passive house standard is uh, 0.6 air changes an hour, and the average Australian home is around about 15 air changes an hour. So we've um, quite considerably, considerably better with our air changes per hour. So that's pretty well, we've tried to keep it nice and simple. Um, plenty of linen and storage cupboards. This is our uh, garage which we set up as a bit of a display area as well. Uh, just to show people about fancy house. Um, and that's our blower door which we do our airtight testing. Um, we've got our, our, that's our own blower door and we've trained uh, one of our key staff in the operation of it. Um, so we just, yeah. So that's pretty well our passive, certified passive home. Quick walkthrough.